Hey everybody, Chem Class Rules here. Recently, I've become interested in lock picking, and as we've all seen from multiple videos, master locks are pretty easy to pick. They can be defeated by even an amateur lock pick with the simplest of tools. So today, we've decided to go a little bit of a different route. And instead of using any physical tools to pick this lock, we're going to go ahead and use some chemical means. This is what thermite can do to a master lock. Now we're using a pretty standard thermite here, which is red iron oxide and aluminum. And as you can see, once they're given a little bit of activation energy, the reaction proceeds quite vigorously. And as you can also see, this reaction is somewhat exothermic. So you'll probably want to avoid this one as a DIY project or as a science fair project. When aluminum and iron oxide react, they go through a single replacement reaction, creating aluminum oxide and iron and quite a bit of heat, this reaction takes place at upwards of 2,000 degrees. In order to contain that much heat, we use our homemade crucibles made of sand, plaster, and mortar. A lot of people carry this demonstration out in a flower pot. However, we've found that a flower pot is just not robust enough to contain all of this energy. Now at this point, it's been several minutes since the reaction finished taking place, and you can see that the interior is still glowing red hot. And as we break the rest of our crucible open, it becomes immediately evident that our master lock has not survived this amount of heat and energy. So there's what's left of our master lock encased in some aluminum oxide slag, and you're about to see it cleaned up. But what do you guys think? Did we do a good job picking this lock? Let's tag lock picking lawyer and anybody else who's good at this kind of stuff and see what they think. Alright guys, the universe is full of wonder and you should be too.